What's going on YouTube, Gios right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 12.x jailbreak. Great progress is being made especially for the newer devices and of course the news are coming from MinSpark Zeng. So if you remember he posted this a few days ago in here, quote, Mac port oriented programming attack, proof number 2, getting task for PAD0 and root on iOS 12.1.2, which incidentally seems to be the latest version of the iOS 12.x for the moment, and he posted here a picture where he got pretty much root and task for PAD0 and he shows the uh, device running 12.1.2 and everything is well and fine. Well, just a few hours ago he posted, quote, a12 core with PAC is not a problem for POP or port oriented programming. So he pretty much managed to defeat the PAC or pointer authentication codes, which is pretty much a new security technique introduced with the iPhone X, XS and XS Max especially, because these are pretty much using the ARM v8.3 architecture, which has PAC by default. So yeah, when they were introduced, this was a pretty serious problem. And if you remember, Jonathan Levin, one of the authors in our community, pretty much said that the new iPhones are indeed using PAC on the A12 chip and that would be a problem for jailbreaking, you know, making things harder because now there is a new layer of security that protects the device from being hacked. Well, apparently for this guy in here it's definitely not a problem and this is actually spectacular news since it's the first time I see the uh, PAC or pointer authentication codes being defeated on A12. Now, of course, if you take a look in here, they got the uh, task for PAD0 and root, which means that they're pretty, pretty close to actually building a full jailbreak at this point. Yes, they would still have to worry about core trust, but that's really not as much of a problem as would be with PAC. So yeah, let me explain a little bit why PAC is even a thing. PAC or pointer authentication codes has been pretty much introduced to prevent you from doing ROP mostly. Now what exactly is ROP? ROP or return oriented programming would be pretty much reusing parts of the binary, parts of the text section or the code to pretty much work it against itself. You know, you find gadgets or ROP gadgets which are pretty much bits and pieces of the program and you put them in such arrangement that you would use them against themselves. Now of course with the introduction of PAC, this this is no longer possible because everything is authenticated and normally ROP was actually very useful and was widely used for pawning the systems because other security techniques are also in place like DAP or data execution prevention, the NX byte, the uh, stack cookies or canaries, ASLR or other space layout randomization and KASLR which is pretty much the same thing but for the kernel and many many other things. So yeah there are a lot of protections on the Apple devices and therefore it makes it hard to hack by itself. However, with the introduction of PAC or pointer authentication codes, it would pretty much make impossible or very, very hard a very well known and very widely used technique, which is pretty much ROP or return oriented programming. Well, this guy in here is pretty much very, very smart with that. He found a new way, which he calls POP or port oriented programming. And by the looks of it, he pretty much managed to defeat the uh, PAC on the A12 chip, which is definitely a first in the community and definitely Definitely very very interesting because this means that suddenly the iPhone XS, XS Max and the XR are as easily jailbreakable as their counterparts on the iPhone 10, the iPhone 7, the iPhone 6s and so on. Now if you remember his previous posts in here were using an iPhone 6s and although this has KPP and it has ASLR and KSLR and many other security techniques, it doesn't have pointer authentication codes. Only the uh, ARM v8.3 architecture seems to be having that. But as you can see here in proof number two, he doesn't mention the newer devices, therefore implying that his technique of getting task for PAD0 and root would only work on, you know, lower devices. However, as I said, just a few hours ago, he posted this and pretty much said that it's no longer a problem to bypass the PAC. Now, as I said, this is a huge achievement and it's a first in our community and it's not an easy thing. That thing is put in there to prevent you from doing exactly what they did and they managed to do it perfectly fine, which is definitely nice. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether they're 
they're going to release it or not, but they seem to be providing quite a lot of information and they may actually release at some point. If they do, this would definitely be huge for the jailbreak community, especially for iOS 12.x. And of course, especially for the newer devices, which would have for the first time an actual jailbreak. So yeah, if you're running iOS 12.1.2, I would definitely recommend you to stay there when iOS 12.1.3 comes out. And of course, if you're running 12.1.1 or lower, stay there. Do not update from any iOS 12 version. It's definitely better to stay on a lower version. Anyways, yes, pretty huge achievement in the jailbreak community, especially if you know what PAC is and what it does. It's a very complicated mechanism, very hard to bypass, and to see them pretty much being able to work around it is definitely nice, and it will help a lot the jailbreak community in the long run. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, and until the next time, peace out.